Hi everybody, welcome to the video, surprise of the day. Today we have a RX 350L. I'm going to test out the Lexus OEM versus the WeatherTech cargo mat. Alright, so it just arrived yesterday and I'm doing a video on it today. So please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon you want to be notified new videos. And if you find the video helpful, please help me out for a thumbs up. If you have a comment or a question, please post in the comments as well. So my WeatherTech cargo mat has just arrived for my uh, 350L. Okay, so if you have a RX 350L and uh, it's up to 2022, this video will help uh, in determining which one's better for you if you're looking to get one of these. So first, I'm going to start the Lexus OEM cargo mat. And it looks really good quality. The fit and finish is excellent, by the way. A nice design as well. Uh, function wise, that's another question, right? It has the Velcro in the back over here. It has the cutouts for the, the tie downs. And also, you could cut out for the, the car seat, for example, right? So it's a three piece. And those, these overlap the, the other seats. And it protrudes out a little bit on the edge. Uh, my opinion is I got these first. I thought it looks really great, but it definitely didn't do the function part that well. So there's a little ends and stuff like that. Uh, liquid could still spill out, as we learned recently uh, after a, a grocery shopping last time. And, uh, you know, the cleanup is going to be a challenge, right? So overall, uh, the price wise, you know, it's over a hundred some odd dollars. I'll post a description if you're interested in getting one of those. And this is how it looks like installed with the Valco behind the carpet. There's a number of uh, touch points for the Valco. You notice that it sticks really nice and it holds up when you lift the seats up in the third row. So you do nothing to move or change in particular. If you were to lift the seats up in the third row, suppose you have guests and stuff for like that, want to use the third row very renewable, very flexible with these in particular, right? So form is really great. Function is another question mark because it doesn't really protect liquid spillage in the back, uh, especially on the sides in particular. And you can see the you know, the lines and everything on like that. It looks really great. I mean, in, in terms of looks, appearance is excellent. Uh, I don't know why they had a different compartment here except for the fact that when the seats go up, you still protect it in a way. And these are deep, but not deep enough. And the sacrifice is basically you're sacrificing some of the parents for function. And you, you can see that, right? It's not as high in the, in the back area and even all the sides. To clean up, just pull it out like this over here. Just take it out like that. And uh, wash it with a garden hose, for example, right? Or you just use a towel and paper or whatever, you know, to, to clean it up. And this Valco thing just comes on out like that. So it's no secret to that. Same thing over here. You just pull it out. Of course, this one I didn't pull it out earlier and has some debris on it as well right now. So you can see the, the back trunk area. The carpet is pretty clean. Yes, I did clean it. Uh, we had a spillage last week and, uh, you know, this prompted us to, uh, to buy the weather tech. Right, so we're checking out the WeatherTech in comparison. And I use the, the third row mainly 98% just for storage, which is great because we needed the space in particular. Sometimes you have something bigger and it will fit compared to the regular RX, which is great, just not long enough, right? And vehicle is in great shape because you know we keep it in great shape, even though there's a little debris here and there on it. So we're going to clean that up. So next, I'm going to show you the areas that we have spillage, like over here. So we had a liquid that spilled over, and it's going to roll around. You notice that. So now we're going to look at the WeatherTech one in comparison. Well, the WeatherTech is a great liner company. Um, they're in uh, made in USFA, lifetime warranty, and uh, it looks great. It feels great, but they're expensive. Right, they're not cheap, right? I think it's about the same price as the Lexus one. I can look that up just to check. And there's a part number on this one in particular, there's a sticker. And I'll verify that. And it, you know, if that's the part number if you're interested, 
and I put a link for both in the description if you're interested in checking them out and which one you like to get if you in the same situation. Actually, if I knew better, my opinion, I would get the letter, uh, WeatherTech first. Uh, WeatherTech is a known brand and it's good quality. And I didn't know the, the Lexus one thing covered the ends that well. So, but uh, I'll leave it up to you. So I'm just going to compare the two more in depth and give you that, you know, the description and the info that you need. So you can see that all the different uh, perimeters are more deaf, more deep, I guess I would say is the right word. And you can have a spillage or something like that it has room to hold the liquid in place, right? And I would have got mine dirty after one trip to Costco yesterday. So you can see over here, fit and finish is excellent, right? The plastic is excellent, the appearance is excellent. But the end piece over there is not that deep as well. So the depth on the sides overall is pretty good. You got the, the cutouts for uh, the tie downs if you wanted to. Just use a utility knife to do that. It has a place for uh, the seat belts. So, so you notice over here, that's when the question marks can happen, right? It's not deep enough at the ends over here. And that's about the same as you will find in the Lexus one. Uh, on the ends, but at least it's one piece. It's not three piece that has to overlap So that's that's the the big thing. So looking at it around. I mean, what do you think? I mean, you know put a comment below which one will you choose, right? If I knew this before and I should have studied it a little bit more in depth before I plunged down the money I guess for the OEM one You know, I would have just gotten the, the weather tech I guess in terms of, because the depth, right? And look wise, it's about the same. I mean, some people probably prefer the Lexus one because the logo or the, you know, this fancy uh, design. But this one still, form and function still looks pretty good overall. So, and it's soft plastic compared to Lexus one, it's a little bit harder plastic overall. And you can see the sides over here and the lines. Yeah, no problems. It's just like custom made in, in a way. So, um, yeah, actually, could double stack them as well. So that's another way you could do it. So it gets to both worlds or I'm going to sell the other one. So if I double stack them, which is probably not the, the best way to spend your money or to do it, you know, but it doesn't really hurt. So as we do, see if you double stack them, they kind of like, yeah, if you leak through the other one, you still have another barrier, right? So if you double stacked in, this is how it looks like. And you can see the Lexus one at the end actually goes a little bit higher as opposed to the weather tech in particular. But the end, the sides, the weather tech really, really hits the home run over here. So that's something that you would notice in comparison. So that's my comparison. Please put a comment below to see which one you prefer. Uh, help me out for thumbs up if you made it this far in the video. Have a comment, leave it below. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.